Hello, welcome to the web powered by Node.js and AngularJS. My name is Augusto Gonçalves and I'm API Evangelist at Autodesk. So let's get started. Uh, the web is flat right now, but the earth is not. So we have, we have 3D objects around us. So why not have a 3D web? Because we have some problem that we want to solve and that not, that's not possible on the flat web. So imagine I wanted to buy a couch and uh, does this couch really fit my, fit my room? Can I, can I take some measures of that couch and make sure it will fit on the space that I have? And what about this suspension? I want to buy a suspension for my car. I don't know if that will fit. Uh, I cannot take the, the, the measurement of that suspension. And what about this tractor? I have, can, I, can I look at the engine? Can I see what's going on inside that, that tractor? And I say, no, it's time for some 3D on the web. Uh, and can you make it easy, please? Can you also make it mobile? And can you support my models? Yes, that's possible. But what about some real-world information? Of course, you can get some real-world information. Imagine this, the, the tractor. You can now explode the model and see all the pieces of that model and see the engine inside the model. That's really cool. So you can look at the, the engine inside the model. And about the, what about information of the pro, informations about the, the objects on that 3D uh, model? Okay, you can see it. You can see now on this on this 3D. You can see the suspension. You can see the the the, the, the uh, diameter, and you can see that will you will fit you on your car. And right now, uh, more than that, right now the web is full of, of samples. You can you can look at a, a lot of cool samples on the web about 3D. So here here I have a list of some interesting samples. There's a lot of samples out there, so I'm just looking at a few of them. So let's let's take a look. So that's the first one. This is some water, and I can uh, you know click on the water and, and move. And there is also I can I can interact with that. I can move uh, change the, the angle that I'm looking at this water, and I can get the ball and move it. So let's let's take it. Let's take some time and move the ball around the water. And every the, the, this is not an application. This is pure uh, uh, WebGL and, and HTML. And of course, there's a lot of physics going on in here. And what about this particle? I can, you know, if I click on this button uh, on, uh, at this point, the particles will start to group around uh, like gravity. They will, they will, they will circle this, this, this gravity point, just like the galaxy. You can see the galaxy running around. If I right click that same point, they will uh, ex expel the, uh, uh, the, the particles. And if I, if I left click again, all the particles will start to group around that specific point. What about some characters? I can navigate through this, this character. I can zoom in and zoom out, uh, and, and you know, we can let's let me zoom out a little bit, and I can uh, get some other guys that are coming here. Oh, there's a lot of guys. Let me zoom out. See, there's a lot of old guys here, and I have some games. I can I can try some games like this. Uh, this is not Flash. This is not application. This is pure WebGL run on the application and can navigate through, 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 uh, through an, an area and uh, go j just a game and there's also like like funny games for kids they can play with the, those mountains navigate around it it's really cool too so it's uh, a lot of design around uh, 3d and there are some there are some games like this lighting game I can uh, play this game and and I, I don't, I'm, I'm not very good with games I'm not a gamer but the, the main idea is there is a light going on and I have to ex like explode the balls and you know, yeah, I'm not very good with that. But again, this is 3D and, and it's run on the browser. There is no, no, no application, it's no pure browser, no, no zero client. So let me come back here. Uh, what about e-commerce? Can I have e-commerce on that? Of course, uh, e-commerce is already on board. I have some I have some samples for you. The, here are three cool samples of uh, around business, not not only games and, and funny stuff, but let's look at, at the commerce at business. Let me come back here. Uh, the first one is about skateboard. So let me select this long. I can I have the short one, but let me select the long one. And I have a 3D model. I can I can rotate around this model. And uh, let's say the deck. I want to change the deck. Let me put this this this. This option on the deck, or what about this? I don't know. Let me, take, let me take this one. What about the wheels? I can select each wheel, and I want this color black, and uh, this will be 
and cyan and I can also change the track put some colors and when I'm done I'm just click finish and order this this, this skateboard so it, that's that's a real example what about some other samples I have here a body and I have the skeleton and I can let's say include the respiratory system and I can navigate here and get closer and you know see the model uh, the cardiovascular system and again I can zoom in and zoom out and I can select just some some pieces of that let's say I want to remove this piece or include this piece so I can navigate this model uh, finally a, a Mustang a car I can select some pieces of the car let's say I want to change the the rear uh, I can you know switch the the bottom the, the rear of the car and have a different one uh, I like the GT so let's let's remain like that can you know, navigate this uh, uh, interactive experience for to buy a, a, a Car, so it's really cool. So, uh, what about developers? What about us, the developers? Uh, do you know this guy, Steve Ballmer? Oh, I, I really love this video. This, this, these are really cool. So he's he's always comp he's always clapping hands and saying developers, developers, developers. So you have to try this. So developers, developers. He's 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 really hot. <laughs> With us, sweating a lot. <laughs> it's a really hot environment. Anyway, uh, that's Steve Ballmer. If you can also get this video too, but uh, it's different. Okay, uh, for developers, uh, we have HTML5 plus JavaScript. Uh, this is compatible with most browsers, so you need to 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 you, uh, the browser is compatible with WebGL, and you can interact that with uh, HTML5 and JavaScript. And it's supported on on the, on the mobile devices. So you you, you can go to Android, uh, iOS, and Windows Phone. Just make sure you have a, 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 an updated version of the uh, uh, of the operation system to support WebGL. And uh, there's a lot of tools out there. You can select any one of those tools. We have uh, Sketchfab, Create, Clever, Unity, uh, Clara, Play Canvas, Marmoset, and of course Autodesk. And they are based on, on WebGL, 3GS, and Babylon.js, so there, there are some libraries out there. So here are some, some basic information about those libraries. So Sketchfab is really easy. You can just go there and use. Uh, WebGL is a pure raw information. Uh, 3GS is a library, so you can you can you, you have boxes instead of faces. It's it's it's, it's better. Uh, Clever is really customizable, but they have a, a inside experience. And of course, there is Autodesk. When you, uh, our main uh, strength is about uh, file file formats. We support a lot of file formats, so that's 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 really important. And uh, here are some more technical samples: uh, 3GS, uh, Clever, Sketchfab, and Autodesk View and Data. So let's take a look at those samples. Let's get started with uh, 3GS. So uh, 3GS website there's a lot of uh, uh, samples, including the Autodesk A360. That that's our main samples, and some other samples here. And you can navigate through this. Uh, this is Clever. They have uh, some experiences, interactive experiences to uh, to to see some models. Uh, I'm a civil engineer, so I like to see city models. This almost remember about uh, remind me about um, uh, Sim City. I, I I wish to play that game. So the idea is here on on this clever model is that you can click on a specific point and navigate through that point. So imagine that you have a model of your city and you can show pieces of your city to someone that is trying to find. A specific location and again it's interactive so you can you can just click and navigate to that module and uh, here is Sketchfab so uh, they have some a library a gallery of samples uh, they have a lot of samples let me select this one just, just one sample and you can click uh, this was created by, by Joseph and it's loading and I can uh, uh, na uh, navigate and, and interact with this module and zoom in and out and see so this is a model created by this guy Joseph. So you, you can also embed that on your, your website. So it's interesting. And finally, the Autodesk one. Uh, this is a, a gallery to show uh, our API. So you can navigate through this. Note this is a, a, a building model because we know we have a lot of AC uh, uh, background with uh, uh, Revit products, AutoCAD products. But we also have some engines, some other models that you can navigate. And uh, the idea is that you can, you know, can can get get really close and and you know let's let's try uh, get a full view of that. You can you can get some options here like shadows and uh, type of lighting. And uh, there is also 
let me zoom zoom out a little bit so you can see it better and you know it's not exploding well but so you have you have some others the, the, the other sample will explode better so i can come back here and uh okay so th those are the libraries that we have uh let's let's talk a, a bit more about the autodesk uh viewing data let me get back to here so you can you can go to this sample by uh q by this qr code uh, but it's basically lmv.rocks so let's get more about uh, our last viewing data uh, we have actually you have two pieces of that uh, of that web service uh, we have the back end it's a rest api to upload translate storage uh, this this will work with any language that support REST. Uh, there is no uh, requirement to understand WebGL anything. Just just upload, translate your module, and you can get the, the output. And we, of course, we support many formats, including our own, like AutoCAD, Navis, uh, Fusion, Inventor, but also some other competitor competitors uh, file formats like SolidWorks, PTC. So we support all those guys too. And there is a front end API based in JavaScript, it's written in JavaScript, it's based on 3GS. You can, you can use that to embed on any page that's with, with JavaScript. And there are a lot of APIs to, to customize that uh, client. Uh, on, the, on the left of the screen, you can see a basic code that is just to demonstrate the idea. No need to worry about it. But the main idea is that you need to get a model URN like this. That's the model, that's the, 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 the name of the model. But also you need to, you need to authenticate to, to, uh, get, uh, to get, gain access to that model. So you need, to, you need to authenticate first. And once you get the model, the model may contain like a 3D and 2D and some uh, sheets and some other pieces. That's why you need to select which piece of the model we want to show. So in this case, I'm getting all the pieces of that model and selecting to show a 3D, uh, the 3D version of that model. As I said, the model may have a, 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 lot, of, a lot of views from that model. Uh, that's very common on, on buildings. That is also common on machinery. So you have the 3D, but you also have the sheets with uh, specific views of that model that, that are important for the manufacturer. And on the back end, uh, we have we can do the back end on any language. Uh, in this case, I'm, I'm showing us a sample, a back end sample with Node. As usual, just npm install viewing data, and you can get the package. The package will contain methods to upload, translate, and all everything else. And to use this package, of course, you need the developer key and secret that your the, that's your developer uh, authentication ID. So go to developer.autodesk.com and get your developer key and secret. And then with that you can you, you can use the model. Let me let, let me show you some, how that will work. So I have here a very small sample. Uh, this config viewing data uh, contains my key. This is this is part of the npm package. And uh, inside my my application I have this guy this API here. So let's take a look at this guy. So that's that's a very basic. Uh, uh, Node.js uh, uh, route to, to get the refresh to refresh the token. So it's very 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 basic. There's no need to permit anything. Just say uh, uh, LMV requires viewing data. That's the package we install it uh, and initialize this LMV with the configuration file which contains the key. And then I can say LMV get token. And uh, once I get that token from Autodesk, I want to re respond. Uh, uh, return that token to the page so that the page we will use this this token so let's say i have this guy here this is a html that, that, that is the, uh, the front end and that's the model that i want to show and that's the uh, function to get the token so uh, here is the get tokens here and it's just making a synchronous uh, http request uh, that's that's kind of a, 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 a weakness that we have on this API, the calls must be synchronous to, to work. So it's basically uh, getting the URL uh, and the URL is the API refresh token on the node server and it's passing the token back to us. So the token is like, I, I passed my developer key and secret and the token will uh, authenticate that and the token is the authentication token and uh, I need to pass the, the function here 
to make sure the viewer will request a new token every 30 minutes because the token will expire in 30 minutes. That's why I have to pass the, the function here. And the rest is just showing the model. That's, that's, that's on, the, on the client side, this is showing the model. This is a, a, a Node.js sample. So let me get back here. So that's the back end. The front end can be done in any language, uh, just, you, you, oh, sorry, not any language, with any library, including AngularJS, but of course the language is JavaScript and the HTML5. And you need a, a div uh, view, let's say, uh, with viewer ID. Uh, and you have the JavaScript, that's the latest, latest, latest version of the JavaScript and the CSS. And uh, on the left, you can see a, a, a front end with Angular. So it's basically uh, uh, watching this uh, model's name on the application. And every time the user select a new model, we'll uh, show the model again. Uh, note that, that in this specific case, uh, I'm, I'm just showing a, a, a predefined list of models. This, this is just a sample with Angular. So let's take a look at this. So I have here some, of course, I have the HTML, uh, HTML page. Uh, the applications in the viewer. The application is just some uh, uh, configuring the application on Angular, but this is the interesting one. Let's look at this uh, viewer. So it's basically uh, when the, the when the when the view is changing on the on the HTML. I'm, I'm monitoring that uh, watch here, and I have a list of predefined models for this specific sample. And every time the user select a new model, uh, it's going to react and show the in run the view it uh, uh, code and show that model. Note that this is the the Autodesk API itself. So that's that's the piece that, that we need for to show the API here. We need the model name. Uh, the light, for instance, the type of light, and you can see initialize and show and load that specific model and, and set the lighting of for that model. It's very simple. So that's that's showing the model, and that's the HTML for this Angular. So it's basically defining the application here and the container, and uh, I have a list of models, and when I select a new model, it's going to uh, uh, trigger that. Uh, uh, the, the, the application will that is monitoring that will run the code and view a new module. So let's see this running. Uh, just to change a little bit, I'm running that on, on Firefox instead of Chrome, so just to make a difference. So I have here, it's running, and I can select a different model, let's say watch, and I can, when, when I change here, it's running that uh, Angular and it's showing a new module. So if I, if I so all the features are available and I can change the lightning for instance there's a lot of options here so that's that's an angular front end for that but again you you, you can also do that in non angular angular whatever so it, it works on all of them okay we have a lot of a lot of samples all those samples we have uh, are on github we we hosted that with love on github just like just like any any other so all the samples are available on github so github.com slash developer dash autodesk we have a very cool sample called gallery you can see the gallery at viewer.autodesk.io or you can also get the same uh, the code for that this is a very interesting and complex application that, that the code is available at the developer git developer autodesk github under ng gallery of course to use all of those apis you need developer key in secret go to developer.autodesk.com to get your key in secret so let's take a look at this this gallery let me come back here so that's the gallery uh, this is running on angular uh, using angular so i have a list of models let's say i want to get this this tractor here so let me load this one and i uh, it's going to load that model and I have all the, the options from, from the viewer here. Let's, let's, do, let's give it a minute to, to load. And I can navigate on this model. And let's say I want to get a section, let's say this one. Okay. And I can, you know, get some sections of this model. And I can uh, explode the model and see all the pieces inside the model. And I can navigate through a specific piece. Let's say this is the tire that I want to replace. And I can isolate 
or I can show all. And once I click on the style, I can come here to properties and see all the information. As I said, this is a, a model that is coming from a mechanical uh, software. Uh, this is coming from Inventor. So uh, there's a lot of mechanical information and I can get all the, the mechanical information that, that is coming there. So like the, this, is, this is important, this is the part number that I used to order a new one. So I can also do the same for this guy here. So there is a, there is a, a, a label and some volume and some other pieces. Mm. That applies to all of all of all of that. Really cool. So I can can unexplode, and I can let's say I want to measure this piece here. Uh, and then, yeah. so let me change to feet. So two and a half inch. Uh, yeah, two and a half inch. So. <clears throat> Finally, we have a developer conference in June in San Francisco. Uh, we have pre-events uh, in June 13 and 14. We have the conference, its conference itself in, on, the, on the 15 and 16. And we have a post-event uh, 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 activities on 17 and 19. Uh, we have a hackathon and the week after the week after the event we have an accelerator that you can come and stay for a whole week and week work with us to you know, speed up your project. That's it. Thank you very much. Uh, again, my, my Twitter and my email, if you want to ask me any questions, just send me or uh, get me, uh, follow me on Twitter to get more updates about viewing data. Yeah, thank you.